Oh, it's on now. This is bigger than anything Kanye West has ever done. Even though this person here wants to say it still feels like one of the smallest things, but no. Jokers want to try to marginalize it. Jokers Hot 97 want to try to make it all about politics. But it's because of the Trump head and all this. He's trying to get people to forgive him. Aww. I'll get on that later. I heard this album three times. And this album right here is a great service to everybody. Especially to his fans. At, at the very least. That was a very unselfish thing for him to do. For y'all, his fans. And as you see, the title of the album, Jesus is King. People have to say Jesus is King no matter what, just, just to say the album. So those who would try to doubt his intentions by listening to all he is saying on there, Talking about, we need to get the families back together. Talking about what God has done for him. His journey. Lead him ain't alone. He, he, he's trying to do better here. But at the same time, no matter if, if, if you don't leave him alone, he's going to be alright if, if he continue on this, this path. Because this goes beyond all of y'all. This goes beyond anything, what anybody has to say right now. This is the eternal. We're talking about the eternal fight. We're talking about the live forever type thing. And I would think everybody would understand. They would like to debate, which that could be done, which you probably lose, but that's another day. I would think if somebody knew how you could live forever in a place that's not like this world, which people are mentally hurt, depressed by how bad things are, and then you have this other place that's not like that, and somebody knew how you could get there, and they told you, I would think you would be happy about that. Or at the very least, you would be glad somebody at least tried to show you, hey, you have this choice of going that way, which is better than where we are now. That's the service that he just did. That's beyond him. And that only God can get somebody to do that. You are seeing the power of God. You are seeing the power of the gospel. As he said in the album, use this gospel for protection. So in this case, for once, in this main lifetime and career, he's leading you down the right path. Now, Hot 97 wants to come out and say, the, the, the Trump hat, he's trying to g gain sympathy or forgiveness. And they want to make it all about some little tiny micro point in the year 2019 based upon a act of service that could have you living to the year 5,752. You see how minor Donald Trump sounds? Donald Trump? Some Republicans? Politics in this time? No. Politics 2,700 years ago? Mm -mm. That was just some random number I threw out. But look, I guarantee you in the year 10,552, all this little dumb stuff y'all talking about is not going to matter. The only thing that will matter is where your soul at, Joker? I don't always talk like this, but I have to put into context what's happening here. And they're trying to make it into some little small thing that, that's 
that's insignificant. And if we are going to take it there to the politic level and they're going to sit up there like the little gatekeepers that they are. And understand I'm a true life independent. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, so don't even try that crap with me. But if we're going to take it to, to their points, which I could easily knock down, do it right now. Matter of fact, they want to say he's doing this for Trump. And basically what's supposed to happen is when they say that, you're then supposed to look at this and go, huh? Yeah. So what is it's not supposed to mean nothing. So then they're trying to take away the effect that it could possibly have on somebody, which would be a positive effect. Somebody following the Ten, the Ten Commandments would be a positive effect. Now, people will try to say no, but mainly that's from a lot of propaganda that you see that is coming from people who want to turn you away from that direction who don't want you to know that there is an eternal life for some strange reason. Hmm. So, them talking about Trump again. Let's, let's, let's get back to that because more people will bring it up. But the people that are mad, and I want y'all to really understand this, that a lot of the people that are mad at Kanye West right now over the Trump stuff are not going to be mad at Kanye West. These same people, and I'm talking to you right now, you're going to be supporting Kanye West when Kanye West run for president. These same radio stations, even them, more than likely, most of them will be supporting Kanye West. So this whole movement, Kanye is canceled. Dang, Joe, because I'm going to be looking at y'all. So I'm saying that all that to say what are you doing right now? Why are you saying what you're saying? Are you just being a puppet? Are you just doing what everybody else is doing? Are you making up your own decision or are you letting these gatekeepers tell you what to think? Are you falling into the left-right deception? Oh, Republicans are supposed to say this. Oh, Democrats are supposed to say this. No, I don't know what you're saying. I always hold true to what I believe, especially politics. Oh, yeah? You know, I saw... George Bush give Michelle Obama a piece of candy a few times, and now all of a sudden he's like the greatest thing ever. Hmm, wow. Funny how that works. So you mean to tell me all Trump has to do is give Michelle Obama a few pieces of candy, and you're going to do the same thing? Probably, more than likely. He might do a variation, but that's all it takes. I've seen it happen, but out of all of that, who was the one calling out George Bush. Oh, Kanye. When everybody else was just standing there looking crazy. Wait a minute. Who was the one who was calling out Obama? Kanye West. When everybody else was, my president is black. Now, the Trump crap, that's garbage. But, but again, it ain't even about all that. Because this is beyond that. And... This man is on a journey, and just leave him, leave him alone. If you ain't going to help him, leave that man alone. But I'll say this much. Spiritual warfare is a real thing, and you're going to get attacked big time. So just be ready, Kanye, because something of this level, the devil ain't happy. It ain't even about the devil. Just keep doing the right thing. 